opening prayer during the recent inauguration of the American president was most interesting. It included an intriguing invocation. Gracious and merciful God, at this sacred time we come before you in need, indeed on our knees. Be with us, holy mystery of love, as we dream together. Praying to this holy... Man, you guys, you think... This is this is the because we have a Roman Catholic president, you guys. This final system of false worship, this global system of false worship, is being set up. It's where the Roman Catholic Church and all the Protestant churches come together, and they deceive the, the political powers and leaders of the world. And they're going to enforce at the end. They're going to enforce uh, their God. They're going to enforce Sunday worship, and they're going to enforce everybody to worship the Trinity. Uh, the, the false god and this is so sad you guys because all the people that were there in that video at the White House for this inauguration They don't realize what's happening every single one of these poor people are deceived Every single one of them that them you guys and the Bible told us about all these things this mystery love that he was talking about This is the mystery Trinity. They're calling on him to save the nation and I have come to understand this mystery Trinity. It's Satan it's how he's getting worship and they're gonna anybody that uh, publicly accuses this and is against the Trinity they're gonna call heretics just like they did in the Dark Ages and those people are gonna be stoned and killed and persecuted and this is what God's people this is what's coming for us the time of trouble and I wanted to open up the Bible real quick because every time I hear that mystery that it's the mystery religion of the Catholic Church it's the Trinity and if we look here in Revelation 17, 5, notice it says, And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You see, the mystery there, God knew that they were going to call it the mystery trinity. Because to them, they don't know God. God is a mystery to them, right? And it's mystery Babylon, okay, the great it's the mother. That's why the Catholic Church, Rome, is called the Mother Church. Because she is the whore. The whore of the Bible. Because she fornicates with the kings of the earth. The, the church and state. This is a terrible thing. And no, a church should never do this. And so she's a mother of harlots. Those harlots that she's the mother of, that is all the Protestant churches and denominations that are in the world. Every single one of them. And this includes the Seventh-day Adventist churches that are clinging to the Trinity and clinging to their 28 fundamental uh, beliefs that they measure uh, their congregation against. You know, any church that has a creed is an apostasy. You should never have a creed. It's a very, very bad thing. You should never worship cannot be forced at any level it's a bad thing to try to force people God does not force he does not force anybody into heaven nor does he force people to stay in heaven the angels were allowed to sin because they're free God does not force them to keep keep his law to keep his ways none of this stuff so one third of them sinned and, and they had they, they, had, they left heaven they were kicked out they were given chances to, to repent, to change. God would have worked with every single one of them, but they chose another way. So this is incredible. I want to watch a couple more snippets from this video because calling on this papal trinity God, this is a terrible thing, you guys. And all these poor people and Joe Biden, this Roman Catholic system that is coming in with him in league with the, pa uh, the Pope, in league with China, this is why we're seeing all these things happen, and this is the Bible. Well, you know, go go to Revelation 13. When we look at the USA, what it's going to do. 1311, we see the USA coming up right during the time of 1798. And it says, I beheld another beast. A beast is a kingdom coming up out of the earth. It came up out of the earth because during the Protestant Reformation, people were fleeing. They were running for their life to get away from the Pope in the Catholic Church and he wanted nothing to do with them because the Pope was killing God's people was well, some say up to a hundred million if not more the Christian Church has killed more more people than any institution in the world terrible things darkness okay and he had two horns like a lamb okay those two horns like a lamb are Christian okay Jesus taught us to 
to give the things which are God to God and the things which are to Caesar, give them to Caesar to keep separate the things of church and state. But from Daniel chapter 2, we notice that the image after Rome, there's a mixture of iron and clay, which represents church and state. All the kingdoms would be would be meddling with church and state up until the second coming. But we notice that these two horns like a lamb, the United States, the republicanism and Protestantism, it's going to end up speaking like a dragon. And it's doing that right now. It's trying to force masks on all the people. It's trying to force vaccines on all the people. It's taking, it's censoring people on, on, on social media and people that are declaring the truth and telling people not to take these vaccines and to not about these terrible things. They're starting to censor them and they're taking away the, our civil and religious liberties every sh being stripped away right in front of us. And this is happening to me as well. I'm getting letters from YouTube telling me that I'm not allowed. My videos are going to be taken off and they're going to be canceled and, and uh, certain people won't be able to see them. They have no right to do that, but they think they do. So, but anyways, I wanted to notice, and he exercised all the power of the first beast. So the USA is going to exercise all the power that the Roman Catholic Church exercised during the Dark Ages. That's what that means. Okay. He causes the earth. He causes to cause. You have to enforce by law, enforce people. Okay. And if they don't. Uh, they're either going to be persecuted, imprisoned, fined, killed. Okay, they're going to cause the earth, the United States, and, and the citizens that dwell therein to worship the first beast. How do you worship the first beast? Well, you recognize the first beast. You keep Sunday. Sunday is the, is the day of the first beast. And by keeping that day and by believing that that's the day, you are worshiping the first beast. To worship God is to worship, worship him on the Sabbath, the seventh day. So that, that is the mark of the beast right there. Okay. They noticed that his deadly wound was healed. We know when state uh, power is given back to the Pope... And I believe it's happening right now behind the scenes. I believe governments are just like this Agenda 21 that we're seeing with the United Nations. That's the last system that's going to take over the whole world. We'll get into that in Revelation 17 because that is some really fascinating stuff. Uh, he does great wonders. If we look here in 14, you guys notice this. It says, And deceives them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth you guys right here that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live you guys the image of the beast is an image to the beast it's happening right now it's this Roman Catholic takeover where the government is, is as Catholicism and Protestantism are uniting and they're going to the kings of the earth and they're sitting in positions of government and they're going to bring these laws to pass with right within the government. You guys, because an image, what is an image? An image is a copy or a replica, okay, to the beast. So it's going to be an image to the papacy, to the Roman Catholic Church during the Dark Ages. So the American, the U.S. government, is going to look like it's going to be an image. It's going to look just like the government did of the Roman Catholic Church during the Dark Ages. That's what that means. That's what's happening right now in America. And the spirit of Satan, you guys, it's deceiving every single person on on this earth. It's so sad. All of our leaders, you guys. Oh, it's incredible. But that that's what the image to the beast is. Okay, it's, it's a replica, a copy. It's our government is going to look exactly like we're going to join church and state. And we in the state is going to, the church is going to be controlling the state. And the church is going to dictate like a dragon. It's going to force laws onto the people. And the people are going to have to make a choice. We can either obey this system, which is obeying the dragon and obeying the image of the beast. Or we're going to have to say no. We may be fined. We may be put in prison. We may be killed. But we will inherit salvation, you guys. But we have to stand up against this this tyrannical system that that's being set up right now. So, anyways, that's incredible. 
Notice 15, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So the system is going to come to life. It's going to happen. That the image, notice this, you guys, of the beast, the, the United States government, it's going to look just like the papacy during the Dark Ages. It's going to control the state, okay? It should both speak and cause. Now, for a nation to speak and cause... To speak is to write laws, that, are, that, that they're going to write these laws and they're going to enforce them on the people. And to cause, as I said before, it's to enforce them on the people. So if somebody says no, they're going to be persecuted. That as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. You guys, to image, to worship the image of the beast is to obey this government that's being set up. It's going to speak like a dragon and try to force things onto us. We're going to have to stand against this government. Anybody that wants to inherit salvation and be given eternal life, you guys, and, 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 and the Father and the Son, you guys, when the Son gets here, he's going to pick us up. He's, he's going to step in at the very end and he's going to come to save his people from this terrible system that the whole world is deceived on. So it's incredible, you guys. I never thought that these things were going to happen so fast. But, I mean, 2020 hit and everything just flipped. You could feel the spirit just change in the world because Satan is making his last play. He, he's got the whole world and he's coming after those last, that little remnant people of God that are scattered throughout the world. He wants to stamp us all out, you guys. But the Son of God is coming back. And the good news is, you guys, that not only is God the Father and His Son, they're watching everything that's taking place behind the scenes. They are going to make everything right. All the blood that this church, this Christian church, has spilled for the last, really throughout history. You guys, the spirit of this church-state union. I mean, the, the millions upon hundreds of millions of people that have been, been killed and martyred. Because God has watched all of that. And this Babylon, this medical Babylon that's being set up right now, they're going to get what's coming to them. God's going to call all them to repentance. It's like he's calling all of us. But if they will not change, you guys, they're going to get God's wrath. The plagues are going to be poured out, and they are righteous and good plagues. They're, very, they're the best things that could happen to this earth. Are the plagues and these judgments, these storms and, vol and volcanoes erupting, fire on the ground and hail... Uh, and pains and sores, whether it's whether it's um, a side effects from the vaccines, all these are going to be good things, you guys. They are trying to bring us to repentance. God doesn't want any of us to be to die. He does not want any of us to be lost. So, let's watch another clip that Nader is talking about here. Praying to this holy mystery of love is really a prayer to the Trinity, a prayer that is offered by a Jesuit priest. So here you have the United States, Rome, and the Trinity. How are they all related to each other? And what does that have to do with the issue of worship in the last days? That's what we'll find out today on Prove All Things. I think it's about the four minute mark, you guys. dangerous. It is okay to acknowledge anything. Oh, one more thing, you guys. If you guys look at the Justinian Decree of 538 when the papacy started his 1260 year of 1260 year of papal dominance of reign over the kings of the earth you guys they didn't allow anybody to publicly accuse or oppose the trinity or the doctrine of the trinity or the, or the sun god or the sunday worship or the pope even if you publicly accuse them they would persecute you and they would kill you so you're not even allowed to speak about this system because if you do they're going to call you a heretic okay so God's people are going to be called heretics here at the end. And that may, let's look at, I want to look at one more thing. Acts 24, it's Acts 24, 14. And I'm going to show you guys this. This is incredible. Notice what it says. It says, but this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I. So what the church calls heresy this is what how the disciples worshipped. Okay. I so worship I the God of my fathers, believing all things 
which are written in the law and in the prophets. Because God's people believe every single word of the Bible. Every word. We don't take one word out of context because we know that the Bible is exactly the way God wants it to be so that we can study it and read it and, and, it, and uh, it is able to make us wise unto salvation. And God's people understand that. They don't change one word. But the churches of this world, the, 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 the papacy and the spirit of Satan, they don't believe the Bible because they don't believe that every single word is the truth. So anybody that believes the Bible is going to be a heretic here at the end of the world. This is the way it was during the Dark Ages. Isn't that so sad? You guys, people, they, they don't believe the Bible. And I, I believe every single word. I, so I wanted to make a note, Acts 24, 14. That is a huge, huge verse. But let's continue to see what Nader says. There's one more thing. Dangerous. It is okay to acknowledge anything and everything else. Here is the closing prayer from the presidential inauguration. And in it, there is an open acknowledgement of any and every faith. Listen carefully. To your glory, majesty, dominion and power forever. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. In the strong name of our collective faith. Amen. In the Did you hear that? The strong name of our collective faith. Oh, man, that's so sad. So they're saying, you guys, that all the faiths, whether it's Muslim, Islam, Catholic, apostate, Protestant, uh, God's true people, all these faiths are together. You guys, the Bible teaches that that's, that, that's wrong. That's paganism. That's false worship. And, and the people that are believing things like that, if they don't change, you guys, we're going to be cut off from the kingdom of God. So... That's scary, the collective faith. No, it's not the collective faith, you guys. We must be be unified by the Word of God, by the Bible. That's what unifies God's people. The Bible and the Bible alone. The, the Spirit of God brings us together, you guys. So this on truth, on Bible truth, that's scary. And you know what's sad about this system, you guys, is this collective faith. It's This is pagan in its origins. It's, it's paganism at its finest. They allow every faith. Everybody gets along perfectly. They don't care which God you worship. But there's one God they won't let you worship. And it's the one true God of the Bible. The God that gave birth to his son in heaven. And he has a real son that's just as divine as he is. You guys, that was born in eternity past. The real son of God, Jesus, that went to the cross. They won't let you believe in the one true God but everything else they let in and they accept. You guys, that, that's paganism at its finest. This is terrible. You guys, Satan has every single person deceived on this planet. He, God's bringing me out of these deceptions, but I too was deceived in everything. Terrible, you guys. Look at uh, Revelation 12, 9. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceives the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him so Satan and all the one third of the angels that were cast out of heaven you guys probably billions and billions and billions of angels they're invisible all around us you guys they come to deceive us all okay they come to blind our minds from the truth. From the time we're born, this 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 false world is, is covered over our eyes and, and everything. All all they care about is they keep the truth that we don't ever read the Bible for ourselves and are able to figure this thing out. So it says right here, you guys, he deceives the whole world. That's every person alive on earth. Oh, he's had me my whole life. I'm just now starting to learn the truth of the Bible with no presupposed ideas that I bring. I let the scriptures fill me up with what, what truth is. I don't bring my false doctrine or beliefs. Uh, I have to unlearn church and have to relearn what the Bible is really telling us. So it's absolutely incredible. We'll finish up with, with Nader. In the name of our collective faith, that's a very strange name. And it certainly 
not the name of Jesus, the only begotten Son of God. Right. These prayers appear to be based on the Bible, yet they are in direct opposition to what the Bible actually says. They are more in harmony with the agenda that is revealed to us in the final book of the Bible, the global deception of worship that seems to be worshiping the true God, but in reality is false worship. And so any and every faith is invoked and acknowledged. Every faith, that is, except the one that denies the Trinity. That is deemed to be more dangerous than COVID itself. But everything else will do. And that is how a global agenda of false worship is being carried out. The union of false worship in the last days will be over anything except the truth of the Bible. Any and every God. Yeah, that's right, you guys. It's, Nader is right spot on with this. Let's look at, I want to finish with John 17, 3. This is my favorite topic in the Bible. John 17, 3, and it says this, and it, Jesus says this, and it, he says, And this is life eternal. This is how important it says, you guys. This is the eternal life right here. And he says, this is life eternal. That they might know thee, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. You see that, you guys? There's two divine beings that we must know in order to receive eternal life. The Father and his Son. That, he, that, that was born of God in heaven. Jesus was born twice. He was born on the earth. He's the son of God and the son of man. This is the most mind-blowing truth I, I've ever discovered that God has ever revealed to me. So if any, you guys right there, this is how vital this is. Life eternal is to know the only true God, which is God the Father and his son Jesus. There's two beings so that is huge and I think Nader is going to mention that right here too the truth of the Bible any and every God is acknowledged and recognized except the true God of creation and his only begotten son it is for this reason that we have a message in the book of Revelation called the three angels messages oh, yeah. a message that goes to the whole world to call them Final to worship the true God this is the contest of worship in the last heaven. days. We are seeing it unfold before our very eyes. Can you see it? That is the question. After all, this is what eternal life is all about. And this is life eternal. That they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Majority opinion is not how the truth is found. It is found by heeding the plain word of God. Let us... All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to make a point. Nader Mansoor, he has great, uh, so much uh, videos that you can learn from if you guys want to check him out. Uh, Revelation 12 YouTube channel and Prove All Things. So, all right, well, God bless you guys. Let us continue to read the Bible and let us let us pray that, that we can overcome sin, that the Son of God, His Spirit is sent to our hearts, you guys, so that we can be ready when Jesus gets here. I want to be ready. I, I really want to meet Him so bad. And then I want to go back to heaven to meet His Father. The one person, you guys, that all, everything has come from, God the Father, even His Son. All things have come from that one person, and I, I want to meet Him so bad, you guys. So, well, God bless you guys. Amen. And uh, I'll see you next video.